Johnston County 911. One address emergency. Hey, um, we have a, a fire fire truck just um, had an accident over here on Cleveland Road. Right. Gardner. Is it overturned or anything? Yes, it is overturned. It was really bad. All right, what's the address you're at? It's 10547 Cleveland Road. I remember a pine tree coming towards us, and at that point, I, I thought the worst. He said, what's wrong? I said, engine two overturned. Call one to call seven. Go ahead. Good. The morning of April 30th, 2020, we started the day off as any other day. Came in, uh, our shift starts at 6 o'clock. Ate breakfast and come back out and started working on a reserve truck. Each day of the week we have specific duties we do. Routine check on the fire truck, wash the apparatus, doing our daily duties that we were supposed to do. The weather that day wasn't the best in the world, it was, it was raining pretty hard. The weather was poor. Um, we had a lot of heavy rain, a lot of standing water everywhere. We got dispatched to a fire alarm in Station One's territory. The call went out uh, roughly 10 o'clock. We quit working on the reserve truck. We uh, jumped in the fire truck, as we would for any call, and took off. I just kind of stayed back to see, you know, if an additional call or anything came in. I looked at the driver and, and told him, it's raining pretty hard, let's, let's take it easy. There was some water on the road. Headed out, pulled out the station, I turned off the engine brake and pulled out on the road. It, it, it was raining so hard that you, could, you couldn't really see too, too far in front of you. As we were coming down the road, all of a sudden the, the back end of the truck just kind of shifted to the right. There was a lot of standing water in the road. Straightened up, corrected the truck, and it, did, it didn't line up like it should. We got going into the curb, and I remember feeling the, the tail end of the truck kind of break a little bit. We also started going to the left a little further than we went toward the right the first time. And it was like the truck was on ice. And I remember going to the left again. I was looking around in the fire truck as I was doing. I remember looking over at my engineer and, and he was, you know, steering and trying to come out of it. So we get back, try to straighten the truck back up, and this time we're going to the right and we're going far to the right. Uh, I remember I remember hearing a, like a little popping noise or um, almost sounded like just air. Started defensively driving. And there was a white sign there to the right. I remember coming toward it and as we were sliding sliding down the road, I can remember thinking, w w I feel like we've been sliding for hours. So I kind of just looked out the window and just kind of like slow motion watching it come at me and it was like, uh, this is not good. And my kind of thoughts were, uh, this is gonna hurt. Next thing I know, we were in the ditch on the side, wondering what just happened. This is EMS 21, 22, 24, 41, 44, Medic 2 at Cleveland, secondary crew, earth vehicle accident, motor vehicle accident, Cleveland Road, near Coates, Marshall Drive, and Landon Park, respond Code 3, off 5, 1021. I do remember uh, we hit the tree, it was kind of a, a real violent hit, and then we also hit on the side, and when I do remember the side, I remember water and glass and loud noise and things. It was just chaos there for a split second. When we came to a stop, I remember Engineer Lambert saying, where's Chad, where's Chad? I was actually hanging by my seatbelt. And at that point, I, I thought the worst. So I put the call in. I didn't ask any questions. I put the call in for dispatch. I stood up and I told him, I said, this wreck is what going to be one of our fire trucks. We received another call. My pager went off, but my cell phone rang at the same time. And that's very unusual. When I looked at it, it was a non-emergency number for the 911 center. 
I thought, well, that's really odd. It's really odd to be calling and dispatching us at the same time. When I answered the phone, there was a, the supervisor was on the phone. And he said, Chief, I said, yes, sir. He said, we just got a report that your engine two overturned. And just when I heard what it was, even though it was calmly said on the radio, it was like that's part of, that's one of us. As we're going down the road, a thousand things get through your mind. It was choking me. I had a little trouble breathing. We hear Chad in the truck, but we didn't know where Chad was. And I picked up the radio and I said, car one, car seven, are you good? And the next thing I remember him saying is negative. I remember Captain Howe hollering back or yelling back at me, uh, are you okay? And then Engineer Lambert looked back and hollered my name, Chad, Chad, are you okay? And I, I said, yes, I'm okay. I'm just tied up and tangled up in the seatbelt. I do remember taking my fist and beating the windshield trying to get it out. And I do remember, um, I have a little tool that I used to carry with me in, in the back also, and it had actually, it's a little short tool with a uh, Halligan fork on one end and a New York hook on the top end. And the uh, New York hook end actually had gone up my bunker pants leg for about four to six inches. Next thing I remember is the Chiefs getting there. I arrive, and when I arrive, I see he, my engineer Lambert, and he, he comes around the front of the truck. And I'm looking at the bottom side of the truck. And he looks at me and he says, Chief, I promise we weren't flying. And I said, Lambert, I'm not worried about that. Where's everybody at? And he said, they're over here. So I run around the front of the truck and Firefighter Ward's coming out of the windshield. I told him, I said, you know, just sit down. You all right? Sit down. And he said, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Right after the wreck, we were in the ambulance for, uh, to be checked out. My phone was actually left in the back of the fire truck that we had wrecked, and I did not have it on me. We're in the ambulance, and the chief came up and he asked if we all had our phones. And he wanted us to make sure we called our wives and told them before they found out through the news or wherever they may find out. The Cleveland Fire Department has always mandated the use of seat belts. On this day, it obviously paid off. I believe that seat belts saved our lives. I think if we would not have had our seat belts on, the outcome could have been a lot worse. Equipment in the back of the fire truck should be secured. Sometimes it's easier and quicker if we have equipment in the back for the firefighters to grab and go to work. However, unsecured equipment in the cab can be deadly or cause serious injuries. When the pager goes off, take a second, process what's going on before you run and jump in the fire truck. The Cleveland Fire Department prides itself and a quick turnout time and a quick response time to incidents that were, that were reported. And one takeaway that we've learned through this whole process is that it pays for us to take, us, take just a few seconds and pause when we receive a call. Take that time to process the call, find out where we're going, and, and to do this all in a safe manner. The financial burden that an accident like this has on your community is, is just tremendous. Our insurance company has worked with us since the moment the wreck happened. Our agent's been by our side. VFAS Insurance has gone above and beyond to make sure that we can protect our community, to make sure that our equipment's replaced. Um, if you don't have VFAS Insurance, you're definitely missing something. I think that day, the seat belts in the truck, the airbags, they helped me to go home that night to my wife and kids. That night when I got home, I can remember you know, my kids running up to me at the front door and, and hugging me and saying, I'm glad you're okay, Daddy, I'm glad you're okay. So we want to shed light on this incident so that your community and your department does not have to learn these lessons in the method that we did.